Welcome. All right, so this is one of my favorite problems uh, because it gets a lot of students. And you know, when we're looking at this, I have log base 4 of x squared divided by 3y. And to apply our logarithmic properties, we're going to have to use all three of these. The first one I want to do is break this apart into our division, into a subtraction of two logarithms. So I can break this up and do log base 4 of x squared minus log base 4 of 3y. Now what's important about this is when I break this down to my denominator, I still have a product. So I can expand my product even further into the addition. But here's where a lot of students make their mistake. All right. If you just leave this as is, all it's telling us is to divide these two and then multiply it times log base 4 of y. Therefore, the y would go up in the numerator. So to avoid that, what we need to do is apply the distributive properties. Therefore, I need to contain these within parentheses. Because now, if we do our order of operations, we combine these together first, then we divide them by there. All right. Now, the last step, now we can rewrite this, leave it like this. Um, obviously, you're going to want to bring the 2 down first. So you can re leave this with those parentheses. Or you can apply distributive property to both of these and rewrite it as log base 4 of 3 minus log base 4 of y. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you expand a logarithmic expression. Thanks.